So this is just the continuation of the previous Maya UV mapping and retopology uh, tutorial. Um, if you haven't seen that yet, uh, watch that. And this is just the continuation. So this is about another five minutes of that. And we'll just finish it off and test it. So getting back to it, uh, we've got the... Um, we're dealing with the stem at the moment. And we're just trying to fit it within... Um, this silver square here in the bottom left hand quadrant um, you can see the the blue and the green um, and the, the the lines there um, and now you can see in the top right hand we've got the bottom of the cap and we'll just try and make that the same size as the other as the other um, yep there you go and um, we'll just tidy all this up. So really got to just get into that quadrant there. Just size it up a little. Um, there you go. Looking all right. A lot of this is just tweaking it and just good housekeeping. Um, again, the reason why we do it in squares is that all textures that you do should be in squares. Whether 1K at 1024 pixels, 2K at uh, 2048 pixels, or 4K at 4096 pixels, that's what you want. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to export this as a OBJ, um, a UV test. Uh, we've uh, done this before, this is uh, about the fourth time we've tried this, so... Uh, we know we're on a good thing, and we'll bring that to... Oh, hello, we've left it in Substance Paint. Oh, sorry about that. Um, all right, so if we go back to Test AUV, obviously you'll have the correct naming conventions. We're just doing tests at the moment. Ah, now here's a tricky one. So uh, one other thing to consider when you're bringing in um, meshes into... Uh, substance painter is to select all of them and go soften edges so there's a difference between soften and hard edges if you're familiar with say fusion 360 same deal applies if you um we're generally dealing with softened edges unless you've got like a hard edge on a rock or something like that so again we'll just re-import that that's um i'm really happy that little bug came across um there's alt tabbing between programs now um you can see it's nice and smooth and so what we do uh as we did with mud boxes i just like to paint over the top of it and see okay you can see the seam there showing but the real question is can you paint over and can you kind of seal that seam up Oop. And another little point is that the rotation system is slightly different in substance. It's not an Autodesk product, so it's slightly different, but it's still quite manageable. Um, still using the alt, um, although it's just going to pivot around a point. So just be aware of that. Um, this is We're just trying to see how that seems working out there. Um, it's not gr It's not great, but it's quite usable, and I choose usable over great. Um, nine times out of ten uh, again if we want to tweak it a bit more we can go a little bit more in depth if you want me to provide tutorials on that but i think for um early on this is this is where you should aim to be texturing your models is just to make sure that you've got no overlap and um and leave it at that basically so as you see here we're painting over everything and no other parts of the geometry are getting painted. So that's fantastic. I'm really happy with that. Um, if I see anything crazy occurring, um, this is the time that it will happen. So this is just really a testing sort of procedure that I like to go through. Um, I'm doing a bit slower than usual. Generally, I just do it with a big old brush. But I just thought it's good to um, explain what's going on while I'm doing it. So just seeing here where, yep, so each little section there, not seeing any other paint um, being displayed anywhere else on the model other than the spot that I want. So I'm really happy with that. 
Um, I could kind of try and unravel some of the uh, the bottom, but because it's not as visible, um, I might save a little bit of time and do that later if it becomes an issue. But at the moment, because considering what we're going to sh uh, show to camera, um, it's most likely going to be the top, and we can really texture that well. So that's 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 the you know the ninety percent part of it. Um, but if it was going to be a super feature model and I was going to look all around it, I'd spend a lot more time with the UVs and I'd maybe dive into some of the deeper tool sets. But for the moment, that's all you need to know. And uh, happy uh, painting in uh, Substance Painter.